In this video, we're going to carry on with our discussion of joins. So previously, we talked about uh, semi-joins. So we were combining two tables. We would create the Cartesian product and then have some uh, selection, some, some criterion for uh, cutting down on the number of rows. And that could be sort of any comparison and uh, we showed an example, say, where it was like a, a greater than where somebody's uh, budget was bigger than the price of an item. But now we're going to move on to where the condition is uh, equality called an equal join. So we have just basic relation algebra to combine uh, to work on a table or combine tables. And uh, we had basic operations of selection, picking out rows, projection, picking out columns, and this weird thing called a Cartesian project. But if we combine selection, projection, and Cartesian product, we end up with uh, a join. So there will be some condition, some predicate, and that could be any of the things but now we're going to start considering when it is specifically equality, and that is going to give us the, the equal join. So here's an example and one way that the syntax can be written. We can say, we can select out the field, so we're doing some projecting here. Customer name, supplier name, customer's city. Um, I didn't want to just specify city because the supplier has a city and the customer has a city. Um, so I'm picking up customer name, the supplier name, the customer city from a customers and suppliers. So just customers, comma suppliers, and then our condition where the, the city, uh, customer city is the supplier city. So we're just finding out, are there any sort of pairs of customers and suppliers who come from the same city? Okay. So this is not the sort of usual, uh, Equality, it's an equality, but it's not the usual equality. Our usual equality condition will be is some foreign key matching some primary key, and we will get to that. But I just want to show that it's, you know, doesn't just because it's an equality doesn't mean it's primary keys and foreign keys, though it most usually will be. Okay, but here's a version of the SQL syntax where we just have tables copyrighted separated by commas and a where clause uh, specifying that the, the, the two fields we want to be equal. Um, but there is another syntax, the inner join syntax, where you say, again, the same fields, customer name, supplier name, customer city. And now we're saying customers inner join suppliers. So it's not a comma separated list, but we're saying customers inner join suppliers. And then instead of where we use on, and then we say a uh, supplier city, a uh, customer city equals supplier city. So it's just a change in the syntax. It was giving logically its equivalent. It's giving the same uh, set of results. Okay. And that was, uh, from the W3 school site. Um, and now I'm going to go to the more usual uh, join where we're working with uh, here. Uh, our, my example is from Access. So I have uh, some customer making orders. And so a, a customer may make many orders, have many orders but an order is made by one customer. So with that one-to-many relationship, then we establish that relationship by putting the customer ID in the order table. So, so now we are combining the customer table with customer ID as a primary key and the order table with customer ID as a foreign key. And we're going to do a join where we make the customer ID equal to the customer ID. So this is the more usual situation. And here it is in viewing the SQL, they're using the 
inner join uh, syntax here. And so it's select, and we're selecting everything at this stage. So select order.star and customer.star, all the fields from both tables um, from customer inner join order on customer, customer ID equals order, order ID. So the condition is equality. So it's an equal join. And now because I had a uh, star for both tables, we are getting something that's repeated. Now access sort of hides this from us because in a, a foreign key, they will often uh, not present the key, but some other field. And so uh, it looks like order customer ID and customer customer ID don't match, but really behind the scenes they do. So this is sort of a duplication of a uh, column. And so often, uh, often we'll just pick out the fields we actually want but if you sort of explicitly uh, take out that duplicate column, then you are uh, getting what people will call a natural join. So you're combining, you're connecting two tables. You're connecting. You're, you're equating the the inner the inner join is on a foreign key matching a primary key. And that is sort of a natural thing to do, but also taking out the, the duplicate column and that sort of combination of those two things will make it what we call a natural join. So I'm going to just show again in access uh, another way to do a query is there's a wizard to help set up a query and so you can say oh I want uh, the order table and I can just sort of hit those arrows and say I you know I want to see everything and then customers from customers, I want to see everything. Um, but this would have that duplicate column. And so you could sort of send back one of the ID columns the other way, and then that would make it natural. So you want one to be matching on uh, the IDs, which this would sort of do automatically. The, the query, the wizard would be doing things for you and sort of say, oh, you've had two tables where there's a foreign key and a primary key, and behind the system, behind the scenes, uh, access knows that because you said it when you were making up the tables that that there was that relationship. So it would sort of set up that automatically, and then we we're sort of explicitly ourselves sort of projecting out one of the columns, and hence then we would have a natural join. And then you can um, do different things. You can say if you want to do some some counts, some totals. We're saying, no, we don't want to do that. Um, that's just all part of the wizard. Give it a name, uh, open up, sort of perform the query. And then something we want to get into, not in this little presentation, but in the next. Um, but I had a, a Betty Rubble customer. Um, and Betty Rubble is not appearing in this query because Betty has not ordered anything yet. And so we were looking for a match and Betty has no match. So uh, that's something we want to consider uh, in another time. And that's going to be called an outer join. So that's coming later, not here. Um, but I did want to present while talking about inner joins, uh, more than uh, one table. So here is, I'm back on the W3 schools here. And they have the, the standard Northwind database and uh, it has products and those products uh, belong to categories and they are uh, supplied by suppliers. So I would like to just to list uh, the name of the supplier and the the product name and then i'd also like to know what kind of what category it fits into and that's three different tables um and this is sort of natural joins in that uh we have foreign keys matching a uh, primary keys so the product uh product table in addition to its own product id will have a supplier id connecting it to the supplier table and a category id connecting it to the category table 
And so I'm saying I want supplier name, product name, category name, and then I'm doing categories interjoin on products. And that's on the category ID matching, the categories category ID and the products product ID. And then I have that in parentheses. And then I interjoin that on suppliers. And then the, the product suppliers is equal to the suppliers. So the product supplier ID is matching the supplier supplier ID. And then that gave me all my products and their suppliers and their category names. So that was, that's just how to do uh, three tables. And that's it for this one. Those are my references. Thanks much for your attention.